like you know this is the e major scale and major scales are helpful in many ways for your composition if you want to write a solo if you want to write your own music if you want to convert any song if you were learning a song in a single string you can convert that song to multiple strings so many things we can do it's very important to learn a scale so currently for example we will take e major scale and we will work on that we have just seen how to find this e major scale with the whole step formula this is how the chart of a major scale looks like okay now for example whenever we are playing a scale we divide a scale into five different positions we call it five positions of a scale what are the five positions so that it is easy for us to determine the first position that we divide the scale is into starting from the zero always make sure whenever you are dividing a scale in different five different parts every string should have three notes compulsory first division is like here this one this is called this is one position you see e is here f sharp is here g sharp so this three notes are done so we will close it don't take more than three notes in one section we will only have three notes per string okay next string also if you see there are three notes a b c sharp all the string there are three three notes only not more than that so first position you should always start from zero fret to the fourth fret 0 to 4 this is a position 0 to fourth fret okay this is from 0 to fourth fret 0 to 4 got it next second position that we will divide is after it that i'll take from the fourth fret i'll start and take three three notes again per string just here and now you'll check every string has three notes or not you can see each everything every string has three three notes this three three okay three three notes are there per string so this position we usually take from the fourth fret okay four till the eighth fret four to eight will be one another position Fourth fret to eighth. Fret. One more division we take that we start from the seventh fret. Seventh fret you should start. Start from the seventh fret, which is where is the seventh fret? Four, five, six, seven here. Seventh fret and make sure each string have three three notes. Okay, one, two, three. Yes, three, 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 three. Yes, done. this string also have three three notes completed so here from which fret which 7 to 11 that is one position again third position next fourth position fourth position will start from the ninth fret this is my ninth fret nine make sure each string has three three notes 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 till here This is the another position, and this position start from ninth fret and to thirteenth fret. Okay, this. Basically, what is the difference? Four four notes will be there. Next, final, the fifth position, the last position that we will see now, is starting from the twelfth fret, which is here. There is a twelfth fret. Make sure three three notes are there for every string. And here uh, we are done. Yes, this is our last position. And here we have twelfth fret to sixteenth fret. This is the last position. Total five parts. We will divide a scale. And any song. you can this is five different different this is in the lower pitch i mean okay it will come to a higher pitch then more higher then pitch gets more higher and higher okay if you are playing a happy birthday song for example in e major scale 
you can play in this section first box the same happy birthday song you can even play in the second position third position fourth position fifth position every position you can play why we are taking only four four notes because within the four four notes all the notes i mean within the first box any one position you will find all the notes from a to g are there or a to g sharp are available okay so this is how we divide into five different positions a scale is divided into five different positions so that we can learn it more easily all right now i'll show you if we split this into five different position how the scale chart looks like want to see the five positions separately this is how it will look like these are the five positions five different positions of the e major scale we have divided not in a single diagram in five different diagrams we have split it okay this so here you can see the first position i'll just write it it start from the zeroth fret okay zero till here here the division is done if i show you this you can understand as your first pattern because it is from the starting part next will be your from here which is the fifth fret i guess sorry fourth fret fourth fret right so this is your in a second pattern you can take right next this is starting from the 4 to 7 is done and seventh pattern so 7 8 9 10 11 11 so this is your third pattern you can take next this is starting from the ninth fret right ninth because the circle is on the ninth fret so this can be your fourth part fourth part right finally last one we we'll start on the 12th fret here it is okay. this will be your fifth part or fifth position right so this is the whole five different positions of a e major scale okay so these are the five different positions of a e major scale for example if you want to play this let us take any one position and play okay. i'll take the position number let us take here this one just a minute we will take this position we will only take this position let us walk on this first let us try to how it sounds like from where it is starting it's starting from the fifth fret i mean sorry fourth fret okay. so whenever you are playing this kind of patterns how will you play okay so the very first if you check fourth fret so where is our fourth fret on the guitar So it is four, five, seven. Then four, six, seven. Then four, six, seven. Then four, six. Then four, five, seven. Four, five, seven. Okay. So now if we play this. So 